This is my basic outdoor kit I carry with me when I go on uh, extended hikes. I have add-ons I can put with this, you know, blanket, haversack, etc. This is just, you know, the basic, you know, that I would carry with me for an extended hike. I have my flint and steel, my uh, bundle of jute cord, some uh, char cloth. I have more of that I carry with me in a uh, Hudson Bay tobacco tin, along with some pieces of, uh, you know, pine amber that get going pretty well. I like this tin because it has a lens in the cap that you can use in case, you know, you miss your piece of flint somewhere, you drop it and um, use that to get a fire going effectively. I have some extra, you know, jute cord and a little, a little piece of flint up in here that I carry as extra. Uh, with this, I also have my, it's like a little leather wallet, you know, spare piece of flint, a wooden spoon, a you know, fairly basic penangular brooch that I made for myself. It's really good for like pinning a blanket together to throw over my shoulders to make kind of a rudimentary cloak. I have uh, an extra magnifying glass that I can use in case, you know, something happens to my tobacco tin. I have my Alpine, you know, mess kit kind of deal. It's the small one. I have a spoon that fits with it that, you know, stays right in place when I lock it down. I can't remember where I got the spoon, but it is a godsend. I got my Esbit stove and some uh, hand warmers I carry as backup because I'm not a fan of the cold and, you know, it's always good to have backups when, you know, your archaic fire system doesn't always start the first time around. Got a pocket knife, a uh, kind of a flashlight. It had a headband with it several years ago, but it disintegrated, so I just kind of carry it as a flashlight now because it's you know puts out a lot of light despite being pretty compact. I have my Sawyer water filtration system with clean out and straw and bag. All of that fits nicely in this little ditty bag I have to keep it all together. I have my battle horse knife. Cannot remember off the top of my head which um, model this one is. Um, it's been patinaed with vinegar you know, gives a nice, you know, dark blade to it. It's been rust resistant for, you know, a couple years now with, you know, moderate use. I have a uh, fire steel rod, you know, in case everything else stops working. Just a generic, you know, military belt pouch, molly pouch. It's got two compartments to it. It contains, you know, the majority of this kit. The My tinder box and stuff goes into this leather pouch. That I believe I got from a, um, a Renaissance fair at some point. Cannot remember for sure. And then finally, I have my 1937 uh, British Army canteen. The canteen itself is original. It's in great shape. the uh, The webbing on it is more or less. I believe the uh, strap around the canteen itself is original, but the carry strap is reproduction. You know, being that it's in such good shape, I have a problem, you know, keeping it on the shelf instead of, you know, using it for what it was intended to use. There's lots of these in museums, so I do not feel, you know, bothered taking it out. I take very good care of my stuff. You know, I would not, I would not use this in a rough manner to cause it any kind of damage. And, uh, this is my basic kit that I carry. So, you know, if, uh you're interested in any of this, like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing, you know, relatively short videos, just kind of reviewing my gear and going on camping trips and such like that. And, um, you know, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.